to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about a very popular pest control product on the market that a lot of people are talking about, and it's right here next to me in this little canister we have here, and it's called Diatomaceous Earth, or DE. And uh, it's obviously, as I said, a very popular product that a lot of people are talking about. A lot of people consider using it in their homes to help with the bed bug issue. And I wanted to give you some information on diatomaceous earth, some information that researchers have found out about it, because I think it's really important if you're thinking about using this in your home, you want to make sure you make the right decisions. So, as I said, what I have here is diatomaceous earth, or DE. And what it is, is it's actually made from crushed fossils called diatoms, hence the name diatomaceous earth. And it's a white dust that is used for the control of a lot of different insects. And what it does is that it actually adheres to the insect's exoskeleton, and then it actually desiccates the insect or dries the insect out. And a lot of pests, a lot of dust, I should say, that we use for pest control do do this, where they basically dry that insect out. And this is commonly thought of as a very green product, um, where a lot of people say, you know, it, it's practically harmless, this, that, and the other. And the first thing I want to say is just remember that this is still a pesticide. And although it may be a very green product, you know, may have a very low toxicity, it is still a pesticide. And so you want to use it appropriately in regards to the label. Now this canister has a label right on the back. You want to make sure you follow all the label directions very closely, regardless of how green the product may be. Those are there for your protection. And you want to make sure you use it consistently with the label. So the first thing I want to say is, it is still a pesticide. Yes, it is considered a green product. And yes, the toxicity of this is very low to humans. But still a pesticide, want to use it carefully. Another thing I want to mention up front is that there is another Bedbug TV episode that talks about the application of dusts. And you can view that episode and I talk about the proper way to apply these in a home and where you want to target. A quick overview is that you want to apply DE into cracks and crevices and voids. That's where these bugs are hiding, or typically hiding. And that's where you really want to get dust to. Cracks and crevices, wall voids, different areas like that. But again, follow the label. It will tell you how to apply this properly on that label. So, as I mentioned, diatomaceous earth made from crushed fossils. How effective is it for bed bug control? That's one of the biggest questions that people have. And the bottom line is, is that overall, diatomaceous earth is very effective for bed bug control. Um, basically, what research has found is that it will kill bed bugs if it does get to them. The one thing we have learned is you definitely want to use this, what we call as aggressively. You want to make sure that whatever void or dust or crack that you're dusting, you want to dust it with a good amount of this dust. Again, follow the label, but... You want to make sure you get a good dust to these bugs, and if you do, it can be very effective for bed bug control. Now, I'm not going to sell anybody that if they just apply diatomaceous and earth in their house, they're going to control their entire bed bug infestation. That is unlikely. It's just part of a control program. This is one aspect of a control program. And so it can be very effective for bed bug control. Now, one study, though, did find out, and this is extremely important, that... There are many different forms of diatomaceous earth out there. There's diatomaceous earth you can use in your pool filter. There's diatomaceous earth that people call food grade that you can consume. And then there's diatomaceous earth that is made for pest control reasons. You want to choose DE that has been made for pest control reasons. A study found that some of these other formulations of diatomaceous earth for pool filters or food grade can actually be pretty ineffective for bed bug control. May not work at all. And so you want to make sure you choose the right, you know, formulation of DE, stuff that's used for pest control and designed for pest control. You know, the food grade stuff may be good for other reasons. It may have health benefits. I, I don't know anything about it. I'm not a doctor. That's not my area of expertise. But what I can tell you is some of those may be ineffective. And so you want to make sure you choose the right formulation of DE. This is the one that we work with. It's called Mother Earth D. You may or may not be able to get this online if you don't have a pesticide license. But there are other ones out there that the, the everyday consumer can buy that were made for pest control reasons. All right, everybody. So that's kind of an overview on DE. Uh, very popular product out that a lot of people are talking about. It can be effective as part of a bed bug control program. You want to make sure that you choose a diatomaceous earth that was made for pest control reasons. 
All right, if you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Please email me any questions, Jeff, about DE, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.